Lion Paradon versus Darkosaurus. Hey guys, this is my first video. Not on the channel. There's many more you know of. But this is the first episode of Sea Reptile Rumble. Darkosaurus was a fairly sized large crocodile morph. Yeah, actually a crocodilian. You can thank Convergent Evolution for crocodile morphs. And there's many famous members that you most likely thought were crocodilians, but weren't true crocodilians. Crocodilians like animals such as Postosuchus, Arethrosuchus. Actually, I don't think Arethrosuchus is a crocodile morph. Saurosuchus. And other bipedal leg done crocodilians are actually more likely crocodile morphs. This guy, a measly six feet, would was not even too dangerous. This close cousin of crocodilians was not really dangerous. Most of the time, when he met. Most of the time would have hunted fish, but they would have hunted small animal reptiles, sea reptiles, and others. Lyopurodon is more famous, and what people believe to be the largest plyosaur is actually the smallest. Everyone says Lyopurodon max out 80 feet. Walking with dinosaurs didn't help that. In reality, live period on only max around 25 feet. So it would have not been too large. Live period on could have been dangerous 100%. And would have hunted plesiosaurs, smaller, small mosasaurs, fish, and other sea reptiles. But what if also did twist feed and kill larger animals? Live Paradon would have been pretty dangerous. So would Darkest Horse be. Now to the advantages and disadvantages. Darkest Horse really doesn't have many. It was pretty slow. Okay, let's just do a little bison. Live Paradon. Larger, faster. Yeah, this fight is kind of unfair. And this is the only fight I'm playing. So who knows who this beast has to face up against. Life here on would have been dangerous. The two Darkosaurus had no advantages. Life here on larger, faster, stronger by force, yeah. Let's get to the fight. There wasn't really too much to talk about. A Docosaurus and Live Herodon both meet up in the middle of the ocean. Live Herodon decides this is a worthy meal. Docosaurus doesn't really want conflict, so it tries to swim away. Live Herodon dives under swims up and attacks, chomping on Darkest Horse's tail. And oh my me, even if it was a weak fight, it would have been pretty painful. Darkest Horse tries to escape, but Live Paradon holds on tight. I mean, doesn't need to hold on. Finally, Darkest Horse bites on Live Paradon's flipper. It's not a bad cut. It's not... Not even really bad, but Live Paradon pretends and lets go, pretending it's injured, it's gonna swim away. Really, it just pulled the, the, the worst move. Pulled a absolute jerk off, a jerkish move, and swam up below and clamps on its, its enemy's jaw, head. Live Radon puts his strong bite into and crushes 
Dinosaurs with skull. I just want a little bit. Verdict, yeah, Docus was didn't stand a chance. Smaller, slower, not didn't have a stronger bite force. Every one hundred percent of the time it would go to live Pyridon. There's not really much that Docus Force could have done to win the fight. The only thing it could do have a re at least painful death. Is hope that it aimed for the head first. Anyways, next fight. Liberdon might get his his butt beaten up. He's facing up up against what's basically his older and meaner uncle, Pliosaurus. Also, I don't know what happened here. Stick tuned, I like, like put it on for supplies or see you all.